Wow. Gee, I cannot even see anything. It's almost like it's winter still. And I swear it was just like 50 degrees the other day. Hey guys, and welcome back to the WT Farm Girl channel. Welcome to our first generation family farm running 10 years strong this year. If you guys are not familiar with the channel, our primary products produced are horse quality hay in small square bales, maple syrup, sometimes chickens, and new as of last year, Christmas trees. If you've ever considered starting a farm from scratch or diving into a different area of farming, hit the subscribe button and click the bell and be sure to check back every Sunday evening to watch all the videos you may have missed. It's April and we are trying our best to shake our boots free of the leftovers of winter. What's the weather like where you guys are at? Do you guys still have snow? Or are you basking in nice warm temperatures? Hopefully next week we're gonna be heating up a little bit more, but you know what, this is Michigan and it can still be winter all the way into the middle of May, so. cold it is so cold and windy do not be deceived by the bright shining sun it is wickedly cold outside as winter makes itself known but it is still winter So what are you going to do with the ice? Are you going to take it home and eat it? Oh yeah, frozen nuggets. I bet the dogs are saving those for later. What are you going to do with the ice? You going to eat that? Use the grass to floss your teeth? With every great snowfall came another warm up. And with every warm up, spring desperately tried to push its way in and get rid of the last remains of winter. The grass began sprouting again, plants began growing, and even bees went out searching for flowers. And while spring may not have officially hit for us here yet in Michigan, we are still trying to get out to enjoy the beautiful weather while we have it. The kids are running around, the dogs are running around, and even the horses are doing their best to bask up the little bit of sunshine shining through. This month, young Aaron turns the big whopping 10 years old, and I decided that this summer would be a good summer to try to push him more into getting projects done around the farm with me. And today, we're gonna put him to work, along with his little buddy named Marvin, who's been over a lot. Hey, might as well make both of them work, right? I'm gonna admit, I probably should be waiting to use this. I think, according to the directions, this is one of the last steps that you're supposed to do. But, it's been sitting here for two weeks and I really just wanna test it out. That's all, I just wanna test it. I'm not gonna clear everything out, I just wanna test it. So, well, hi, Diney. Have you been playing with the kids? Ow, hey. Somebody has spring fever. 
Are you digging up worms again? Yeah, it is beautiful out today. Still chilly, but it's uh, working its way towards spring. So uh, today's the only day that I can really put this to effective use. So we're gonna get going. Step one, renew. Add your ingredients into the pond water. Step two, revive. Turn on your aerating windmill. Step three, remove. Drag all that crap out of there in a nutshell. So this is the Coender Nature's Pond Care Solutions. This stuff is pretty wicked awesome. I'm really excited to give this a shot on our pond. Um, you guys will see a lot more videos on that coming up once the weather starts to warm up. But for now, we're just gonna pull this open with my dull knife. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so we have one rake head, which I think is this. We have two cutter heads, which I think are these right here. We have rope. We have the handle behind me. We have a float with Velcro straps. So this is your standard pool noodle, as far as I can tell. And pretty much, uh, you take the Velcro straps, and you're gonna Velcro it right to this. So if you have a lot of floating pond issue plants, like lily pads and things of that nature, this allows you to rake them from the top rather than the bottom. We don't really have that issue. Most of ours are growing up down below. All right, we got the uh, cutter head attached. It took me a little bit and you definitely, definitely should have gloves on um, because this is sharp, but also this piece right here has some sharp edges too. Um, 7 16 is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need two wrenches or a socket and a wrench for the back. So you have these two pieces right here, you set those down, you put bolts through the ends first and you keep it loose and then you put this, this plate on right here, you tuck it underneath um, between the L plate and the cutter heads and then you put the bolts in there. Now after you get that done then you can tighten it down. Do not torque everything down as tight as you can because um, you don't want this stuff to bend. It is. Um, you know, thin gauge metal. We'll get the rest of the handle put on and we'll throw it out there a couple of times and see what it does. Again, we're not looking to clean out the pond today because that's coming. We just want to go through and see what this puppy can do. What are you? Hey, get off my rake, you butt nugget. You're not going to do this. All right. Who wants to do this first? Me. You want to try first? Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, there goes Daddy. Alright, so stand right here. You've got this whole long handle. Let's watch out for the dog. Hold on. Hold on. Just wait. Put it down first so you don't whack the dog with it. Daddy. What are you doing? This is too cold to be swimming, kid. She is just like obsessed with water. That's where we're gonna dig. Oh, you're gonna help. You're helping by digging stuff out yourself. Okay. All right. Now feed it all the way out. Yep. <laughs> See if you can get it. There you go. See if you can get it all the way out there. No, you don't. Well, I guess you could push it, but the idea is to kind of cast and pull it out. <laughs> you should have had some boots on. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, now you got some grass. Oh, hold on. Let's not whack Marvin. All right, hold on. Oh, what if I do it over here? So yeah, you want to try it over there? Do it right here. Aaron. Aaron, right here. Let's see if you can get the stuff out there. So obviously this would work better if you had boots on and it wasn't flooded. Okay, yep. Feed it out that way. I can't believe your horse tried to eat my head. <laughs> get it all the way out to the cattails. Those are all cattails. 
tails? Yeah. yeah, these are the bad cat tails, not the good ones. See if you can get all the way out there. Where are the good cat tails? We don't have any out here. I wish we did. Oh, there she goes again. Oh, there he goes. There you go. It is shallow all over, except for the middle, which is the actual pond. This is just flooding. There you go. Look at that. You pulled all that stuff out. Nice. How about I just throw it in? Well, you are supposed to throw it in, but I don't have the rope attached. So I thought the weeds were closer and I didn't stop to think about you not wearing any boots. Yep, just like that. Not yet. You remember? Did you see what Aaron was doing? There you go. See if you can throw it out a little bit further. You have to use your muscles. Oh wow, that's a big catch. Yeah, it's like fishing, but you're guaranteed to catch something. <laughs> you can push it. Yeah, it cuts both ways technically. Carl's doing his own destruction over there. There you go. Yeah, you got some. How about we do See if you can each. chuck it out there a little bit more. You might have to feed it. How about we do three it. each? <laughs> Here, feed it out there. Go ahead. How about we do it three each? Just feed it out nice and easy. And then when you get closer down the end, you can crank it up. There you go. <laughs> That's better. There you go. You need help? He's got it. You can try it again. See if you can get a little bit more handle length. Can we do three each? I'll let you do one more turn. How about that? But we got to do this whole pond later this summer. So you guys will have lots of time to be working on this. But we'll put the rope on it. So then you can just chuck it all the way out there and then yank it back in. What would you do if you caught buried treasure on the end? <laughs> Secretly hide it in your pocket? <laughs> there you go. Back up, Aaron. Back up. Back up. Dump. Dump, 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 dump. There you go. It actually comes back up. It actually comes off that pretty good. I do. All right, let me do one more. Try and get it out there as far as you can. If you drop it, it's okay. I've got boots on. There you go. See if you can. There you go. That was better. I'm going to pass that far. Alright, nice job. I'm going to shake all that off. There you go. You guys are going to be buff and tough by the time summer's done, aren't you? Uh -huh. Stay back. Yeah, because this is heavy. It is. It is heavy. It's, it's hard to balance because you got that end right there. But that helps it go down too. Alright, one last try. You going to make this one count? You got lots of handle there you can send out. Oh, there you go. See if you can yank them out. Ooh, I think you might have got one. Oh, I see it floating back. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got a couple of them there. There you go. I got plenty of grass. All right, let Marvin have another shot. Then you guys will be free to go. I'm really excited that you guys are excited about this. <laughs> I can see you're so excited, Marvin. <laughs> All right, you can let Marvin have one more turn. Marvin, you want one more? Okay. You gotta give him some opportunities to build his muscles there. <laughs> well, you gotta get ready for a hay season. Hey, watch out, Erin, get out of the way. You're gonna sit on the rake, let's go. Get it out. There you go, you're balancing it good. There you go. Try it again, you almost got it. Or maybe you did get it. 
So this is the cut and rake tool. It's designed to be cast out into the middle of a pond and pulled back slowly. You use it at the very end after you've added your chemicals and after you've begun aerating your water because it basically will cut through all of the dead and dying material and pull it back up to help clean out your pond. Right now, we're just pulling out some of the dead stuff from springtime just for fun to get these boys testing their muscles because they're gonna be going to work this summer pulling everything out. And you know what? It's a good way to build their self-esteem and their muscles. There you go, yep. There you go, nice. <laughs> Yep, let it sink and then pull it in. And even though Aaron's little friend Marvin is not used to doing much in the line of farm work, every time he's out here, we put him to work doing something. So eventually the goal is by the time they're 16, I'll have at least two kids that can throw hay bales around here. All right, guys, we'll stay tuned for more later on. Hey, hey, hey! As we keep the dogs away from lethal blades of duff. <laughs> Thank you, Marvin. Thank you, Aaron. Huh? Thank you. Hey there, Miss Pig. Hi. You guys are a little upset by the rain, huh? We're supposed to get more rain tonight. All right, get you guys some food. So they each get one full scoop and just a little bit more. They're pretty grumpy because I gave them only one scoop each this morning. Because you guys are gaining weight, even though you're supposed to be losing weight. Like get fat on air like a horse. Okay, here we go. It's actually pretty spry for a overweight pig. It's over here. So, I got one full scoop ready to roll. It's your big daddy over here. Somebody didn't eat all his food and then decided to poop in it out of spite. Fantastic. They are not. A little bit extra for you. Yeah. I'm guessing you were probably the one that decided that you're gonna poop in it just to be mad. Yeah, man, it's a mess. Just some crazy weather we got going on. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I love spending time with you guys on here. What sort of things are you guys looking at this year coming up for summertime? What sort of fun projects are you doing or what's happening on your farm? I'm curious to know, let me know down below and don't forget by leaving a comment on the video, you are entered to win our future upcoming 100K giveaway. I'm really looking forward to giving you guys some amazing gifts that you could possibly win. So definitely make sure you're entered by leaving your comment down below and don't forget to make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned to the videos for more follow-up information. Here are a few of the sponsors that you can look forward to on this giveaway. True Work Workwear, Brunt Work Boots, ASEA Boots for All Seasons, a WT Farm Girl merchandise gift basket, and of course, our very special jewelry collection that will only be available during Christmas tree season on our farm. Definitely click the links down below in the video description and check out our sponsors. Take care guys, until next time, love you, bye.